See, I'm feeling feeling good. I'm gonna do my three demonstrations here. So we have only three things that an object can do. It can spin around the z-axis, okay? It can spin around the y-axis. Okay. All right? And it can go around the x-axis. No. No. Okay, so <laughs> that's it. A roll, a cartwheel, or a spin. All right. So that's it. The three, that's three rotations for a nonlinear molecule. Okay? And I'm not linear. I'm, I'm trying to be, but I'm on a diet, but I can't quite get to linear. Okay? Now, uh, a linear molecule only has two. Okay, because the, the motion is defined by its moment of inertia. And if you have a linear molecule, all the atoms are on the axis. So there's nothing off the axis. So I can't tell if it's rotating around the z-axis. So we lose that rotation. So a linear molecule only has two. So write that down. That's important. 